I'm sitting here with Dr. Christina Rungi. Now, I want to discuss with you music and the ability for CI users to actually enjoy it still. Can you talk a bit about that? Yeah, um, it's a huge quality of life issue for our cochlear implant patients. And there's been a lot of research and work going on to help people enjoy that aspect of listening again. Um, before it was just about speech perception, now it's about music as well. And do you ever give them tips or is this something that can be practiced? Yes, that's a great point. Um, people can practice it and um, try and listen to different types of music to see what sounds best with the implant. It's the same as trying to learn how to listen to speech. You have to also relearn how to listen to music. What do you see as the future of research in music and CI? Well, what we're doing now is trying to figure out what are the specific aspects of music that people are missing with a cochlear implant. And if we can find out what it is they're missing that leads to the enjoyment, then we can try to figure out how we can introduce that again. Wow. And how do you go about discussing this with uh, you know, people interested in it or families that are sensitive about it? Is, is it a sensitive matter? It is, um, especially for our patients who have a background of, of music or they are musicians um, and music was a very important part of their life. That's usually what they ask about first when they're going through the um, candidacy process. And we, we have a lot of things that we can tell them. Again, it's about learning to listen with it again and just keep trying and, and getting used to it. And we have people saying that it sounds a lot more natural after they've learned to hear it again. Let's talk about the stigma around hearing loss. As the population ages, there's certainly more cases of hearing loss. How, how do you approach this? And, and is it becoming a, a CI users a more accepted in a sense? Uh, hearing loss tends to be pretty embarrassing for people. It causes a lot of social issues. Um, people say that they can hear, but they can't understand. They get lost in the conversation. And they come to us and say, you know, I feel stupid. And that's very unfortunate because it's just that they can't hear. And so they find it embarrassing and they look for help. Um, and a cochlear implant is a great way to help people who can't have hearing aids help them in that way. Uh, well, thank you so much for joining us, Dr. Rangi, And best of luck with the rest of CI 2016. Thank you so much.